Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Today is April the 26th, Friday, and this is official world release of Avengers in game. And as I mentioned before, I will not spoil the end game. This is not a review of that movie, which I absolutely, positively, definitely loved, loved, loved. This is a review <laughs> of something, and you can probably hear it in my voice, as my voice just went up a little bit, of something I've been waiting to get for a long time. I've mentioned it in several of my videos. Uh, this is my very first sideshow unboxing. I am so ecstatic and very proud of myself. I'm a little tired though. Uh, I just got home from work a little while ago. Plus I was at the movie uh, theater last night for the three hour screening of Avengers Endgame, which I again I very much enjoyed. So I'm a little tired from all that and then going to work. And then when I come home from work, lo and behold, what do I see at my door? Delivered specially for me. Sideshow collectible. I, I will I would pan face. I'm so proud of myself. Give myself a round of applause there. I've graduated from elementary school collecting to high school collecting to college uh, college collecting now. <laughs> My very first sideshow collectible. I'm not like some other guys who can buy a sideshow collectible every day or every week. I work for a living. And I'm not saying that they don't, you know, but along with that, I collect videos, comic books, I collect toys from other uh, name brand retailers, uh, which in including NECA, one of my favorites, and of course Marvel Legends. But this is like a step up for me, definitely. And I say this with all humility, I'm very thankful to have one of these. I'm going to show you what it is in a few minutes. Okay. Um, well, let's just go ahead and show what it is. Without further ado or delay okay one of my favorite Avengers and the thing about it is is this particular Avenger I seen in the Target a couple of months back in the Marvel Legends line I wanted to get it he was featured with another favorite character of mine the Winter Soldier in a two-pack uh, set which was like rounded off like about it was about about uh, about around 40 bucks for the uh, set and when I finally came back to get one they were all gone well here he is y'all all by himself and wrapped up in the sideshow box sideshow box the Falcon one of the flying Avengers here uh, wow. I mean, this looks just like Anthony Mackie. Um, he's on a tree, mounted on a tree like a bird. It looks like he's about to take flight and, and about to go into combat, into battle. I love the polycarbon fiber wings. And the wings are detachable. Uh, so he's actually was already unboxed. I, I wanted to unbox him before I actually show the video um, Because there were a lot of pieces or not a lot of pieces or a couple of pieces to put together the most complicated pieces on the on the uh, statue uh, Were the the Red Wing uh, drones recon drones As you see right here These are not attached to this base and the base is made out of polystone, by the way, is extremely heavy. So you want to be very, you would want to be very care careful in the event of getting one of these uh, when moving it around. I'm gonna turn them around here. But the uh, Red Wing drones come inside. They they come separately in when in the box. Um. You have to attach them to these little slits here. I'm not going to take, but there are little slits inside of the tree base or the uh, the uh, 
tree branch. And this is supposed to be a Wakanda diorama, by the way. And I'm going to show you the box in a few minutes. You guys got to see the box. The box inside of the box is absolutely awesome. Let's turn them around here. You be very careful with that. See how detailed that is? You can't tell me that it does not look like the actor Anthony Mackie. Looks just like him. I mean, that is just like an awesome, totally awesome pose. I am so very proud to get this. The boots. You can even see the dirt on the... Uh, they paint it look like they paint it looks like a uh, dirt on the bottom of the boots. And look at the the bottom, the the heel. Or the bottom of, of his boot. You can see the the detail in that. Look at that. Uh oh, let me move, get the camera back over to the boot. And you can see the treads in the bottom of the boot, man. Neck just like NECA, just like McFarlane Toys Sideshow puts a lot of detail, a lot of detail into their figures. He comes with uh, his guns attached to his belt. And there's his wing pack there. And you can see the wings. Look at that. We're going to measure them too in a minute. That is absolutely gorgeous. And again, this is supposed to be a diorama of fight that takes place in Wakanda from um, in Avengers Infinity War. Let's turn them to this side. And even cooler, you can actually see inside of his goggles, his eyes. You can see his eyes. You know, a lot of times when you have toys uh, for figurines or statues with... Uh, Headpiece on headgear or or any kind of uh, any type of headgear, they don't even you don't even see the uh, eyes or the face necessarily. Here you can see the eyes. You can actually see his teeth. Uh, let's get that back into focus there. Homeboy's definitely brushed his teeth. That's good. It's fresh haircut. The details in his armor. You know, even his gloves or this one right here. Looks like it has some kind of launcher on it or something like that or a control mechanism. It's my very first sideshow collectible, definitely not my last. Okay. Let's do a little measurement uh, real quick. Let's see. How tall this is. Got our ruler here. That's like almost past 12 inches. Um, including the base. Not the figure itself, just from the from the base on up. And I'm gonna show you guys in something else in a few minutes with this guy. Uh, from the wingspan, uh, let's just do this wing here. Measuring about seven inches with the wings. I think it's really it's, it's, it's stands a total of about with the wing here, which expands outward. Sends it about probably about seven. I'm measuring about 17 inches. This is just going on on visual sight alone. Okay, I'm gonna set this down. Set the camera down for a minute. Move Mr. Falcon, who also is known as Sam Wilson. I'm gonna set this down for a minute. So I'm gonna show you guys the box. Okay, set that upward. Right there.